keep it a secret that I get really stressed out sometimes. Why? <laughs> I'm not always a totally functional human. The uh, time-honored tradition of artists going insane. But something that I found really, really helps when I'm going through one of these rougher patches, work through my feelings visually. I sit down with a canvas and some paints and absolutely no plan and make whatever the heck I feel. So today I am going to take a break from trying to be productive and instead try to help me feel better so that I can be productive later. So I usually just give myself however long I want and stop when the painting feels done, but this time I actually gave myself one hour, so I set this clock to 12 o'clock and set an alarm for one because I couldn't find a timer that I wanted to use. Um, and then I just started putting on blue because blue is a really good uh, like basic background color, especially since usually when I do this, I eventually turn the picture into a landscape and blue is great for like the sky or anything in the distance. Um, I quickly went from just this smooth gradient line over here to these squiggly messes because, I don't know, I feel like a big factor of how I've been feeling lately is like feeling kind of confused and lost. Um, I started to bring in some warm colors, I felt like it needed some, some contrast and interest and, I don't know, it just felt right to bring in this kind of yellowish and some reds, uh, and then Coco decided to oversee the art to make sure that it was good. Um, she didn't seem terribly thrilled about it, but uh, she's always been a very tough critic to please, so I didn't take it too personally. After all, she is such a good girl, huh? Thank you, Coco. Yeah, she does it. Okay, after a while, I decided that I wanted a background color for all of it, so I went with blue. And I, um, I didn't I did this partially because I just wanted, you know, something that would tie it all together. But also, it felt like it needed to be a little more dark and depressing. <laughs> uh, and since I also kind of felt like doing these drippy lines and even having it coming down from this eye that I painted uh, that really kind of forced me to face the fact that I'm a, a bit depressed. Um, I'm not just stressed, I'm sad. And that uh, was actually really kind of a relief to express and to acknowledge in myself. Uh, and then I ended up spending most of my time trying to refine this eye and give it a look that I, I kind of felt was right for it. Uh, and every time I came close to what I was thinking I wanted for it, I'd be kind of like, eh, maybe that was not quite right. <laughs> but uh, over time, I, I changed it quite a bit and I uh, added more of these different lines. Since I was using acrylic paint, I was able to just layer things on top of each other, so if I didn't like what I painted in one spot, I could just paint something else on top of it. Um, just something that, uh, that's, that's kind of why, the biggest reason why I like working in acrylic paint so much more than oils or watercolors, because uh, it's very opaque and it dries very quickly, so nothing is really permanent. You can just cover anything. It's definitely nothing like my usual style. I can tell there's some influence got into this from uh, my current surroundings because I live in a city so there's like some really gorgeous street art and stuff around that's a little more this style than uh, my usual style. 
and uh, I think this was really good and it helped me a lot. Uh, it was a really great experience so if you want to try something similar I highly recommend it and you should let me know how it goes. Okay, bye!